It is Fleet Week in New York City, and we're doing a tour on a U.S. Coast Guard fast response cutter. And then we have a couple people that work all these lines here to actually let it out. That looks like a Luna Park ride. It what? It looks like a Luna Park ride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no? It's pretty, no, it's pretty fun, though. Look, like, with the handles and... Oh, yeah. Like you're going to slide down the water. They're like horse saddle seats, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it fun? It is. It's really fun. Is it fast? Yeah, it goes up to 42 knots, so like 42 miles an hour. It's pretty fun. Do you need to wear a helmet when you ride it? Um, you need to wear a helmet and a life jacket, or a life jacket at all times, but your helmet has to be on as you're launching the boat or recovering the boat. And you Other than that, once you get out, yes, there's a seatbelt that goes across your waist. And can it flip over? Um, none of us would flip it over. I, I hope not. But so each one of you can drive it. All of you can drive no, it. No, only certain uh, ranks will drive it. So that's bosun mate. That's what I am. Uh -huh. um, so bosun mates get those qualifications to be able to drive the boat. Oh, that's cool. Does it give you qualification to drive other vehicles, like the same expertise? Uh, to an extent. Um, so a lot of people, when they get out of the Coast Guard, they'll have a captain's license, which gives them a lot of opportunity to drive all other sorts of boats. So it's pretty cool. What about race cars? Race cars? Well, I would love to do that, but I don't know about that. Yeah, that's, uh, How often do you use it? Um, a lot of the time we're underway and we're doing boardings to go make sure um, either for search and rescue or for fisheries boardings just to see what kind of catch people have. That's mainly the biggest mission up north. So do you need like to do you practice every day? Um, a lot of the time, not every day, but uh, if we have other things or missions going on, but definitely we get a lot of time on it just to stay. Is it the most fun part of your job? Taking Driving the boat or ride? taking the boat? De to me, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's our boat back here. And this is uh, just like the back hallway that leads right onto the mess deck. Thank you. So, <laughs> mess deck, um, two TVs, a couple games and stuff that everybody plays. Um, and then our galley is in here. That's the kitchen? This is our CS1 who cooks for us. She's amazing. Yes, this is the kitchen. We have the pantry. Bunch of storage for food and everything. That is so interesting. What do you usually eat? Oh, everything. Like, is it fancy? She's oh, like yeah. a fancy chef? <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? That's a lot. Yeah. Do you have like a it's really very, good memory? Mm, I don't know about that. It is definitely overwhelming your first time up here. So, so do you practice them every now and then? Or you just well, remember? Well, yeah, because whatever we're out there, right here, up here. Just doing practice? everything, just uh, doing all like the chart stuff, figuring out where we're going, um, doing vlogs, checking our machinery status and stuff. We have a nice view today. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Really nice. Oh, and you like New York City. I see you have Statue yeah. of Liberty. Got little trinkets from everywhere we've gone so far. Oh, nice. So, what do you have? Um, three, one, two, three are from the same, from Key West primarily in New York and from Maine. So, nice. Hopefully, getting more. Hopefully. <laughs> Um, the higher ups all have their own bathrooms and for all of the rest of the crew we have three toilets and three showers so it's pretty good so these are all people's rooms um, this is a room yes I can show you mine this is mine there's two beds in here we each get two lockers you get a sink and a mirror do you get claustrophobic here. I don't know it's uh it's not too bad so all of these ones are rooms and then these three here are all three of them are toilets and then all three are uh, showers. showers. So yeah, pretty small showers too. Oh wow. So you get in there, 
get undressed, get in the shower, and then have your new set of clothes, and then change right. Is it like a fun shower with like a good stream of water, <laughs> and it's hot? Or? Oh yeah, it's it is. Good. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, Surprisingly, no. No, it. it Do it, you it, take water like, from the outside, or you have your own tank of water? We have uh, tanks of water, and we're. We usually fill it up when we're out, otherwise we are capable to make our own water when we're far out in the water. And then this is our Engine auxiliary room. space. We have our sewage tank, um, gray water tank, which is just pretty much all the dirty water. Um, from the toilet? From yeah. the shower? You collect it? Uh, yeah, because you can't just pump sewage right into the water in most places. You have to be a certain distance away from shore to do that. And then especially like even when we're in port right now, you, you wouldn't cannot. just... You, so you oh, just no. store it. <laughs> yes, you store in, the, it. in that tank, yeah. This, no, which one? Right there, uh, big one. Oh, the huge oh, one. Oh, yeah. Do you have like empty rooms or all the rooms are filled? They are all full. All full? Because our full crew is on, yes. And so 23 is the maximum you can have we here? We could have up to, I think 28 people could fit. Um, but as far as our uh, our crew, they would uh, we would realistically only get like up to 24 people on board okay. that would get sent here. Do you ever get visitors? Every now and then. Um, no one that has like stayed over or anything. We might eventually. You could get someone who comes temporarily just for either patrol or station with us for a little bit, but we haven't yet. Have you and ever had your like family visiting room? you here? My what? Your family, have you, they ever... Come to visit? Yeah. They did when we got uh, commissioned for our ceremony. My uh -huh. parents got to come check it out. Oh, nice. Yeah, so that was really good. It's our laundry room. So That's laundry? Have, yeah. No way! Dryer, able to do. Thank goodness. Because <laughs> those rooms are really small, so you can't bring a lot of clothes, and you definitely need to wash them if you're out for three Oh, weeks. you have limitations of stuff you can bring? There is no limit, but it's just whatever you can fit, and I... There's not a lot of space. No, you have, like, in those beds, they lift up the top rack, so you have, like, about this much room is how high it is to just put your clothes in. Oh, wow. And then you do have a locker as well, but that, uh, that gets pretty small, too. And then, this is the engine room. It's pretty warm in here. You have to close it because of the weather? Uh, just because they're watertight doors and most of the time we're underway, all of, the, or all of them are closed when we're underway. But then when we're in port, we just have like these two and the one in the auxiliary space closed. Um, so I won't lie to you, I, Specifically, my job is to be like out on deck and driving the boat and stuff. I am You'd not never an come here. I'm rarely in here, so, so I don't know a whole lot about what's in here. That's the that's a lot of buttons. Yeah. That's more buttons. Oh yeah, more buttons. We got two main diesel engines. Don't you need oh, to like pull it down? Area? Like some, like, do you need to cool it down sometimes? Because... Yeah, there, we have a ventilation oh. system in here too that can blow out. And then in here is our generator room, and we have two generators, but they're on now, and you need like hearing protection to go in there. Oh wow! And it's really loud. Okay, thank you for saving us. But <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the whole. So thing. you it's usually never part. comes to this part of the ship. No, not when we're no. away. No, it's when not... we're in port. Uh, we'll stand duty. Someone will always be on the boat. There'll be two people constantly on the boat. And it's like you're in charge of the boat for the whole day. Um, so you have to do rounds and check on things all the time. And a lot of that is engineering things. Yeah. So that's about the extent that I know. Or Do you else come to heat yourself up when it's cold out? <laughs> no. no. Not really. We do have, we have good heating and a uh, good uh, AC all throughout the boat. So I felt lucky there. A lot of boats don't. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. Unless you have any other questions. Are you gonna visit New York City? I yes, I hope so. What do you I've never for? been in New York City. You never? Mm -mm. What do you look forward to seeing? I 
want to see Times Square. I know that's like the biggest <laughs> touristy thing, but I definitely want to go to Times Square and check that out. Times Square is amazing. Yeah, so I've it. heard. Yes. See all the people everywhere. What time can you go there? Can you go today? I'm not sure yet. Oh. Mm -hmm. You will get that today? figured out soon. Yeah. I am not today. 